We have one, two, three, four. Okay, good. Good evening, Sophia here. Oh yes, good evening. Okay. So, so item of so for the agenda of a call to order. Item number two, pledge of allegiance. Um, Commissioner Chaudhuri, can you will you lead us in the pledge of allegiance? Yes. I pledge, pledge allegiance, of allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America. And, to and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under, under God, God indivisible, liberty and justice, and justice for, all. for all. Thank you. Okay, item three, uh, roll call, please. Anbao. Present. Actually, the commissioner of Ben Wen uh, recently submitted a uh, resignation letter, um, as well as the uh, commissioner Batista. So, Guy Haas, commissioner Guy Haas, not present. Nasir Lalani, oh, commissioner Guy Haas just call in. Uh, did he just join? Commissioner Guy Haas. Okay, he's there. On mute. There we go. Okay. Hey. Okay, cool. Guy Haas present. Nasir Lalani. Present. Present. Vice Chair Ratan Chowdhury. Present. Commissioner Urbish Kumar Mehta. Present. Present. Commissioner Rajani Nair. Commissioner Rajani Nair, not present. Commissioner Kevin Lane, present. Present. And we have uh, Miss, uh, Mr. Mayor uh, Rich Tran here today with us. Yeah, how's everybody? Welcome, Mr. Mayor. Happy to be here. Okay. Uh, yeah, council um, city staff. Uh, we have Mike Blue present and Daniel Nam present. Yeah, thank you. And then, uh, Chair, um, we would like to also seek the alternate since. Um, right. So, Kevin Lair will be uh, seating as alternate um, as the one of the commission voting with voting tonight. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> All right, so item number five approval of the agenda. I make the motion to approve the agenda. Second. Okay. Um, before we go there, um, does everybody have a copy of the agenda? Oh yeah. Y'all yes, good? We do. Yes. Okay. Yes, we do. All right. So then, um, any changes to the agenda? Uh, we have a staff uh, presentation to be added uh, from a passport or doc. Uh, uh, organization that has been included and invited to the uh, to the meeting. Okay, well, on that subject, I'm sorry, but um, we do not. Um, uh, will we? Yeah, I apologize. We will have to uh, move that to a future to a future uh, meeting. Uh, Certainly, our agenda is full, and uh, we did not receive all the information requested to so that we can put that on the agenda. But, Certainly. Um, okay, so um, uh, Auden, so um, Daniel, do we um, to do the uh, the all in favor do yes. we uh, do we'll, the call? Um, uh, Mr. Chair, we'll do the uh, we'll do the roll call uh, for each item just because it's a remote meeting. Okay. Um, so I'm sorry, uh, the motion and the second, uh, which commission commissioners for a thing? Motion to approve. I think the vice chair motion. And I then, seconded. Uh, I second that. Guy. Oh, yes. And yes. Second. And uh, Commissioner Haas second. Haas. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Um, so, uh, roll call. On Val? Aye. Haas? Commissioner Guy Haas? Aye. Nasir Balani? Aye. Pratan Chowdhury? Aye. Ramesh Kumar Mehta? Aye. And 
Kevin Lee. Aye. We have six ayes, Mr. Chair. Okay. Thank you. So we will move on. Um, and item number six, approval of the meeting minutes. Um, did everybody get a copy of the minutes? Oh, there we are. Thank you. I'll give you a few seconds to review it. Make sure um, there's, there's any changes. You're okay with all the names that, are, that we put on there for the owners? And... Okay, may I please have a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. Okay, second. So second. Second. So that was Commissioner Haas and the second was by Meta. Uh, candidate. Uh, also. Commission, Commissioner Meta, very good. Yeah, I'll do a roll call, Mr. Chair. An Bao? Aye. Guy Haas? Aye. Nasir Lalani? Aye. Pratan Chaudhary? Aye. Ravish Kumar Meta? Aye. Ken Lee? Aye. We have six ayes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. All right, item number seven, public forum. Members of the audience are invited to address the commission on any subject not on the agenda. Speakers must state their name, address is optional for the record. Limit the remarks to three minutes or less. For items not listed on the agenda, no response is required of city staff or commissioners. However, commissioners may ask staff to place the, the item on a future meeting agenda. Um, do we have any uh, any members of the public? Uh, no comments uh, for to, uh, this evening, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you. All right, moving on to item number eight, announcements. Um, I think we have some, I think you mentioned we have some announcement for um, commissioners and uh, who are um, resigning. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, um, we do have, uh, we only received a uh, notice from Commissioner Ben Nguyen and Commissioner Ernesto Batista, um, uh, you know, wishes to resign uh, from this commission. All right, thanks. And I think Commissioner um, Batista is moving, right? Yes, I believe he's moving out of the city. Okay, and then Commissioner Ben has, um, has took a new job, which will... Um, conflict with our meeting schedule right? mm -hmm. and uh, and again welcome uh, to the mayor Tran for um, being a new liaison um, mayor Tran any words of wisdom for us mm -hmm. can you hear me I can oh we can oh. now yes okay great I'm just uh Happy to be the new liaison for the commission here. Um, my last two years in office before I get termed out, so I want to hang out with Mike Lou as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke, but uh, happy to see everybody. Um, I recently um, um, did some policy changes for our city commission uh, bylaws, and so now there are no longer any lifetime term limits. And so if any of you want to continue serving as long as you want, uh, I'll be happy to support that. And uh, we may look for uh, former members of this commission to come back if there's any opportunity, empty seats as well. So I'm just happy to be here and I look forward to the next two years. All right, thank you. So do we have any announcements from staff? Any other announcements? Yeah, um, this is Mike um, Luke. Just want to, um, as the mayor stated, the new bylaws has been updated on the website on each commissioner's page. So if, if you want to review the bylaws in details, um, it has been updated on the last um, when council approved um, during the last council meeting. Um, so the bylaws have been updated. Yeah, thank you. And uh, I think a one. Uh, one comment about the schedule tonight is that we do have a hard stop at seven o'clock to allow staff and the and art commission to um to start their their meeting. Uh, 
to prepare and start their meeting. So I'll be so I'll be strict about about um, mm -hmm. cool. about seven o'clock. All right, all right. So item number nine, business items. Um, nine A, parks and rec and recreation master plan update. Um, so, uh, so Leia, um, Linda, and Sophia, uh, you, your your show. Thank you, Chair. Good evening, Mayors and Commissioners. Um, are you hearing me okay? Yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, my name is Lee Ha Im, an Associate Civil Engineer with Engineering Department, and I am also the Project Manager for this Park and Recreation Master Plan Update. We also have our consultant, Gate and Associate, joining us today, and our consultant will be providing the presentations on the progress of this Master Plan particularly of what we have uh, completed so far and what is our next step. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to turn this over to Linda Gate. She's the principal project manager with Gate and Associates and so that she can begin her presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Leah. Can I have the first slide? Uh, my name is Linda Gates. I'm with Gates and Associates. And um, our mission is to get people outside so you can imagine how thrilled we are to be working with Milpitas on this project. I think park and recreation master plans are particularly important now when we're sort of appreciating the value of our park systems as we've begun to shelter in place. And as we look forward in the future where we may work from home more, they may become more important part of our daily life. So it's a very interesting opportunity to be looking at a comprehensive update. When you start an update, first you look at what the cities have. So we've been assessing the existing programs. Also, this update is a little bit different from other updates because we've also looked at your programs and your fee structure and cost recovery targets. And we've done this by benchmarking other communities, what kind of programs are they offering, what are they charging and such to, to sort of um, help guide Milpitas and what they could expect in terms of cost recovery from the programs you've offered. Uh, a park and rec master plan should be about that community, even though we benchmark other communities, it's about your community. So we need to engage the community in a meaningful way and actually coming to all these commissions is a way to share with you that this is going on and then you can share that with other people and have an awareness. Ultimately, we want to create a roadmap that will guide the future improvements over the next 10 years to the uh, park system. Next slide. One of the things that's great about undertaking this master plan right now, as you know, you've also undertaken your general plan. And whereas in many communities, these are not linked, we've been able to link our recommendations and the general plan's recommendations and at one moment in time to have them uh, be interwoven. A couple of things that are coming out of the general plan that are particularly important to, the, to our master plan update is one, the desire for the park and recreation system to serve the needs of all the residents of the community. So this is seniors, this is teens, this is longtime residents, the new residents that are moving into the community, some of your more vulnerable population, the idea that it's very inclusive plan. The second part is collaboration with the county and the school district. There's, you're not growing any new land in Milpitas right now, and so providing enough parkland and recreation opportunities for the community requires collaboration with the school district and the county to recognize those needs. So those are sort of two key things that are about Milpitas. Next slide. Uh, also, the um, Milpitas Metro specific plan is being updated at the same time. And that is looking at much higher density development, places where people don't have the traditional backyards and may actually be looking for their park system to meet some of those needs that, that you know, the barbecue with friends and such that we might have done in our traditional backyard. So the park master plan is trying to understand the needs based on this new population. It's also integrated with a bikeway and pedestrian master plan because one of the key things about using a park system is having access to a park. And having bike and pedestrian connections to a park means that people will use it. So combining those together to make it really a more robust plan has really been great. And then of course, this is an update and we're building on the 2008 Parks and Recreation Master Plan, a foundation of that. So the next slide. So the, the 2008 plan had a number of recommendations in it and the city has elected to invest over $26 million in improvements 
based on that plan that included improvements to the Milpitas Sports Center, skate park, a number of park redesigns, playground improvements and such. So that you know investment and time and thinking in 2008 paid off in a number of improvements. And that's the same kind of roadmap we wanna to provide to Milpitas over the next decade. Next slide. So as I said, we got set out and we analyzed your existing parks. There's 36 parks and six facilities in case you haven't um, uh, visited any of those. Now you have, you know, having your list to visit all 36 parks. Uh, one of the things we look at is how the demographics and the dense diversity of the population has changed since 2008. You're continuing to age as a population. You know, people love living in Pilpitas and they stay there. So we have to recognize we have a growing senior population. We also have this influx of new young families in some of the higher density areas. So we're watching that. The Park and Rec Master Plan looks at a growth of about at least 20,000 people. So how are we going to continue to meet those recreation needs of those additional 20,000 people um, within the park system where we're adding new parks, we're enriching our existing parks. As I mentioned, not only do we look at benchmarking in terms of programs and recreation um, fees that are charged in other communities, we also look at sort of the acreage and, and such and how many soccer fields they have per thousand people. Once again, this is just a piece of information we use to help Neil Peters find exactly their sweet spot. Next slide. So we, so far we will have three rounds of community outreach. The first round was about um, what, what do you like about your existing parks? What would you like to see in your existing parks? Fortunately, we were able to meet in person at the beginning of that round. And after that, we've been going to online surveys and such. In the second round, we sought to clarify, confirm and prioritize some of the things that came up in the first round. And we, were, and we also had another online survey, which um, your chair has taken. Thank you very much. And we held some focus groups and virtual town halls as well. Next slide. So uh, we had over 700 participants in the first round. Uh, we were able to conduct the outreach in English, Spanish, Chinese, and Vietnamese. What we found out what people like were your playgrounds, your swim centers, your trails and pathways. But we also found out what they'd like to add are more and updated playgrounds. They wanted to get a little bit more cool equipment love the community events and things happening in the parks, indoor sports, exercise station and lighting, and some other kinds of elements were things they'd like to see added. Next slide. So in round two, we elected to dive down deeper on some of those things they wanted to see added, but we also did a um, interactive map survey where people could go to the map, on the map to the park they're most familiar with and look at some of the ideas that have been coming up and make some specific suggestions about the parks that they're most familiar with. As I mentioned, we also had some focus groups and some town hall meetings. Next slide. Um, so the focus groups had organized sports, teens, new residents, and then social services. Uh, I mentioned social services because your parks department has really stepped up during um, this COVID shelter in place time to really make sure that, that they're connecting people with meals, with housing, uh, mental health services, et cetera. Uh, a, a role they were already playing, but they really sort of stepped up and elevated. So we wanted to talk to some of the groups that were supplying and programs and see, see how we could collaborate better with them. We, as I said, we met with organized sports. Uh, the school district recently has done some improvements to school that disrupted the location for girls softball. So we worked with the sports groups to find a new location for the girls softball. We also looked at um, other improvements like lighting or synthetic turf that might expand the usability of a field because if you use it and it's natural to use it too much, you can wear it out. So ways we could expand that. Other things they needed like parking, restrooms and storage. But with the new residents, and one of the things was interesting talking to new residents is they depend on their parks to meet their neighbors. So they like opportunities to sort of interact with neighbors at the parks, either through planned events like yoga in the park or, you know, group exercise stations or things there where they could meet their neighbors in the park. It's a very important social place for them. Um, they also wanted to look at um, rental space. As I said, they like to reserve park space for birthday parties and things. So we talked about the kind of amenities and things that help that, that be more attractive and serve them better. Teen, in the teen group, we talked to teens feel sort of 
after they stop using the playground equipment, they don't use the parks that much. So we chatted with them about what could help them use the parks, you know, Wi-Fi, better furniture, sort of new kinds of activities like ping pong tables or climbing walls, um, use conflicts. They sometimes run into the pathways as they're too narrow because, you know, they're sort of maybe, you know, rollerblading or walking and somebody with a stroller and such. Uh, they like to see social activities like food trucks and astronomy nights. And another thing I thought was interesting was that they primarily are able to use the parks during the summer. In the winter, they're in school or they have homework and then it's dark. So they'd like to see more shade or water features or things that they would use in the summer at the park. And then finally, their parents are very concerned about safety when they use the parks and um, surveillance. So that's a critical thing to allow teens to be able to use the parks a lot. So these are some of the things we dialed on and we're trying to address in the master plan. Next slide. At the town hall, as you can imagine, there's an increasing growth in cricket and how to add that to the, the range of sports uses we're trying to accommodate. Inclusivity is really important to your community, wanting to make people not feel like if they don't have the same skill levels that they're not sort of ostracized to one place, but they can play simultaneously. Programming for classes on weekends, weeknights, and different kinds of classes, dog training, teen classes. And then as we mentioned before, connectivity. People really like to just walk and bike and get around in between parks. Next slide. So the next steps are we're working right now to identify some of the joint use opportunities with the school district. As I mentioned before, that partnership is critical to meeting your needs. We are developing some draft recommendations of some improvements that we think would help the park system. <clears throat> that is being turned into a sort of a administrative draft of the master plan with sort of short-term, medium, and long-term recommendations. We'll then take that out <clears throat> to the community in round three to make sure that we've got their priorities right. Where should, where, what should we attack first? What can wait for five years? What can wait for 10 years? With that, we've done a cost analysis so that the city can plan and budget for the implementation of the master plan. And that's it. Thanks. Now, um, yeah, thank you, Mike. There, um, I think you had a note that uh, members of the public have their hands up. Okay. So and there was a, get information. Yeah, there was a question from the public. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was just going, trying to go as fast as I could. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. Uh, Hi. Yes. Um, so my name is uh, Robert Jung. Um, yes. And um, I am part of the chamber, but I'm not representing the chamber uh, tonight. Um, I'm interested in uh, getting um, a better or a little bit more insight. You mentioned that uh, some of our teens uh, wanted Wi-Fi, and, and I would suggest that it's not only the teens that want the Wi-Fi <laughs> in, in our parks. Um, can you dive into a little bit more as to how Wi-Fi, how you envisioned Wi-Fi? Is it a public Wi-Fi that people can um, get access to uh, that the city controls, or is this a private Wi-Fi system? Can you give me a little more insight into what you meant by Wi-Fi? You know, at this phase and at this point in the master plan, we're, rec we're just recommending that the city begin to explore adding Wi-Fi into the parks. We don't have, we're not creating a specific recommendation about the manner in which they would do that. That might actually be an interesting topic for this commission to be chatting about. Because um, you're right, I think as we have more and more people working from home and, and maybe able to get outside for a break or take some calls, I think it's just becoming more and more, but we aren't, we haven't done an analysis to see which would be the best way to do it, just suggesting that it's something the city should, should begin to look at doing. Thank you. That, that, uh, I appreciate it. I, I'm just saying that even like community events would be more, may have more requirements into Wi Fi where mm -hmm. maybe they want to project if it's a cultural or a historical type of uh, event, they might want to utilize Wi-Fi to present historical or cultural data. I, I totally, I agree with you, or just information about how to get from one place to the other, or when, a, when the concert's going to start, or yeah, I think right. it's, just, it's the way of the world. Yes, thank you. 
Yes, and it's good that we have that question came up because the uh, commissioner uh, Lay is on the is on the Wi-Fi um, uh, topic. A diversity okay. inclusion project. Yes. So you know, see, can digital you... inclusion. My bad. Digital <laughs> inclusion. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, yeah, so I think uh, if you could provide your contact information, uh, I think Rajani and I uh, might want to get in touch with you. We've actually reached out to um, a woman named Rene, uh, who's the recreation services yes. manager. Yes. So we haven't received a response from her yet. Um, a little bit about our digital inclusion project. We're basically looking to uh, potentially provide uh, free public Wi-Fi that's targeted uh, towards group of, groups of people who uh, could really use Wi-Fi for uh, their needs. Not in the recreational sense, but uh, that's another um, that's another focus we could have after um, our main goal is achieved. But we, we reached out to her um, to see if she, she knows anything about uh, Wi-Fi needs among the community. And uh, maybe we could get in contact with you as well. Okay. Yeah. My my uh, my email is there, and I have uh, I, I am very familiar with uh, our school district as well as our as I as I said I also am a part of the chamber, and uh, I I can I'm happy to provide some insight on that. Yeah, we're actually we were actually planning to um, reach out to the chamber, but we just wanted to get a little bit more details on uh, what the process is like in regards to the Brown sure. Act with us working with you guys. But you guys are actually next on our list to contact soon. Okay, so, th th so yeah, my email is in the chat. So hopefully that is uh, sufficient and I'd be happy to help. Okay, thank you. All right, that's perfect timing. <laughs> thank you. Um, now, uh, so Linda, any, any other items that you are looking for this commission to, uh, to help you on? If there's something they want to share with me or they think of something, you know, tomorrow about that they think would be interesting in the parks, they can reach out to LIAC and, and provide that information. As I said, the park system is only as good as the input we get from people about what they want to see. So, you know, thank you very much for letting me crash your, your quick, quick meeting. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Um, may I have a motion to uh, receive and file? Motion to receive and file. So, as Commissioner Chowdhury, yes. second is second Commissioner that. Haas. Okay, thank you. All right, moving on to um, item 9B, election of chair and vice chair, uh, since we're starting a new uh, new year. I'm sorry, Mr. Chair, uh, can we go through the roll? Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, you're right. For 9A, Ann Bell. Aye. Guy Haas. Aye. Nasir Lalani. Aye. Ratan Chowdhury? Aye. Arvish Kumar Mehta? Aye. Kevin Lee? Aye. We have six eyes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. All right, so item 9B, um, we need a new uh, chair and vice chair this year. Um, Commissioner um, Chowdhury, how do you feel about uh, your turn? So, Chair, I just want to clarify, you, yes. you can. Um, like if somebody um, nominate you, you can rerun again. So you can be chair. So it's not a, a one term. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just I, yeah. Thank you. I realized I, I was trying not to go there. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I would really prefer, well, it's, uh, I had my turn. I mean, uh, I don't want to put any, anybody else on the spot, but, um, but I would uh, nominate um, Vice Chair Chowdhury to be uh, to be chair this year. Uh, but Ratan, uh, how do you feel about that? I was going to nominate you for chair. I think you have been doing a good job. So, <laughs> <laughs> but you spoke first. Okay, so, uh, Mr. Chair, so I will get a vote uh, for uh, nominating the uh, Commissioner Ratan Chowdhury as a chair. Um, I will oh. Okay. Sorry, Daniel. Uh, before we go there, and uh, we need to confirm yeah. that Mr. Chowdhury is agreeable to that. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I'm agreeable to that. I would, okay. I would love to do that. Okay. Okay. So, on bow. 
I agree. Kai Haas? Yeah. Nasir Lalani? I agree. Ratan Chaudhry? Oh, well. I agree, of course. <laughs> and Mr. Uh, uh, Commissioner Arish Kumar Mehta? Uh, I would like to, uh, well, uh, before, you know, having a, having the election, I would like to, I would like to refer it to the you know, other commissioner as well, because I do, uh, I see that, you know, uh, the commissioner Guy has, and as well as uh, commissioner, uh, 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 other commissioners, uh, commissioner Batista, uh, Batista, who has been uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the committee as well. So I would like to also, uh, you know, refer their names, uh, you know, as a part of a chair, but certainly, uh, considering that, you know, uh, uh, the nomination, uh, I, would, I would certainly, uh, you know, I would vote for it, for the, uh, for the chair, for the, uh, for Ratan Chaudhary. But I would, also, I would also like to refer back to the Commissioner Guy Haas and Commissioner Bautista as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you, uh, Commissioner. Uh, Mr. Uh, the Commissioner uh, Bautista is, is resigned. Um, but Guy, uh, yeah, we, we'll definitely vote for the um, uh, Commissioner Haas as well. Mm -hmm. so, So, uh, Commissioner Mehta, you are nominating the uh, Commissioner Haas as a chair or a vice chair? Commissioner, Commissioner Haas as a, as a chair. And uh, uh, since uh, 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 Commissioner Ratan Chaudhary has already been a vice chair, so I would like to refer uh, uh, Commissioner Guy Haas as a vice chair. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and finish the... Um, Roll yep. call for the chair. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, uh, Commissioner uh, Irish Kumameta for nominating the uh, for for um, Commissioner Chowdhury as a chair. You calling for a vote, Commissioner Meta? Yeah, we're voting. Uh, we're waiting for your vote, Commissioner Meta. Yeah, uh, I vote for the uh, vice chair for the guy house. Uh, for for the chair, uh, I believe you did you did say yes, right? For um, yeah, yes for okay. the chair. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Kevin Lee. Uh, I agree. Okay. Thank you. We have uh, six six eyes for the uh, Commissioner Chowdhury as a chair. It Thank you. And, and everyone, uh, feel free to say no also. Nay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, no pressure, okay? <laughs> all right. And, okay. All so, right, so then next is um, a vote for, um, I think we'll do a vote for Commissioner Haas, is it? Uh, mm -hmm. I believe you nominated, uh, uh, okay, so uh, Commissioner Haas as a vice chair. Uh, that was nomination from... Okay. Irvish Kumar Are there oh. any other nominations? They won't. We'll, well, let's finish up the. Com, let's yeah. finish up the the chair. I think that we have a, a unanimous. Yes. So the motion carries then. Okay. Right. So for vice then, chair. Uh, for vice chair, we have one nomination for Commissioner Haas. Uh, do we have any other nominations for vice chair? I would recommend for Arvish Mehta Kumar as a vice chair. All right. And I'm sorry, this was uh, Commissioner Lalani, is that correct? That is correct, sir. Hey, do we have any other, com other, um, other nominations before we vote? Okay. So for uh, Commissioner Guy Haas for Vice Chair, on bow. Aye. Guy Haas. Aye. Nasir Lalani. Arvish Mehta. Rahan Chaudhry. Aye. Rish Kumar Mehta? Hey. Kevin Lee? Sorry, can you repeat that again? All right. 
Sure. And then uh, that being said, would there anybody for a vice chair? I agree. So we have five yeses, Mr. Chair. Five to one. All right. And then um, do we do we need to vote on uh, Commissioner Meta for um, vice chair? Since it was not a unanimous. Uh, Mike, do you? Yeah, so uh, we go down the roll call for Commissioner Meta as vice chair as well, um, since we have five to one. Oh, I'm no. sorry. But can, can we vote twice? <laughs> for both for both members and you should have one selection but <laughs> all right okay so mike are we doing a roll call for uh, the the voting for the can i them as well uh yeah okay and then after this i guess um the chair uh Chowdhury will go ahead and um, run the meeting. Um, uh, and thank you, Chair Bao. Um, after this uh, item is over. Okay. Thank you. So for uh, Arish Kumar Mehta as Vice Chair, on Bao? Oh, nay. Uh, Guy Haas? Nay. Nasir Lalani? Yes. Ratan Chaudhry? Nay. Nee. Ravish Kumar Mehta? Abstain. Kevin Lay? Nay. Nee. Okay, we have one aye and four nays, Mr. Chair. Okay. So, motion to um, do a Ask um, Commissioner Haas to be Vice Chair carries then. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Chair. For... I guess the Chair or Vice Chair, would you like to make any comments, brief comments, before we move to the next item? So, no. thank you all. I mean, uh, I'm excited and uh, will. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with all of you in the coming year and taking the you know, uh, agenda forward for the city of Milpitas and uh, looking forward to your support. Thank you. Vice Chair Guy Haas, would you like to make a brief comment? Yes, thank you very much and let's move right along. All right, thank you. All right, go ahead then. Oh, Chair, uh, the new chair, you can go ahead and take over the meeting. For item C. So the next next item on the agenda is work plan updates. Uh, background, receive updates from the commission members. Is there any uh, update from uh, the commission members? Uh, yeah, I can provide an update. Okay, go ahead, Kevin. Um, so for the past, I think maybe two to three weeks, uh, Commissioner Nier and I uh, create a plan to reach out to uh, a wide variety of groups to try and gain more information about um, our targeted groups of uh, people who might require Wi-Fi uh, for as a necess necessity. So um, we reached out last week to um, the MUSD board. Uh, I got in contact with uh, Chris Norwood. We gave a public comment at um, their last uh, board meeting and we now are scheduled to meet with um, Superintendent uh, Cheryl. I mm -hmm. believe her name is Cheryl. Uh, we're planning to meet her, um, I believe, next uh, next week. So we're probably going to meet um, the superintendent and maybe some of the MUSD board members to discuss about uh, Wi-Fi. Because I remember um, Robert Jung, he, in earlier meetings, he mentioned that uh, MUSD lacked uh, Wi-Fi and that they, or was it, uh, sorry, maybe it might be uh, Commissioner Meta that mentioned it. So yeah, we're going to meet with them. Uh, we reached out to the Library Commission, no, no response yet. We reached out to the Economic Development Commission and 
we were able to get on a meeting with uh, Alex, the economic development director. So we gained some information from them. Um, we explained to them about our project and uh, we might do a follow-up with them as we progress further into, into our project. Uh, we reached out to the Recreational Services and Parks Commission, no response yet from, uh, from them. I reached out to uh, the Senior Commission and uh, we're planning to join um, their next meeting. Um, our current contact is John McCon, the Recreation <clears throat> Services Supervisor. Um, we also reached out to the Youth Commission, no response yet. Uh, we reached out to the Veteran Commission and I believe we might be meeting with them soon. Uh, we received a response from them and we're looking to uh, reach out to the housing department from the city of Milpitas and later on uh, reach out to the Chamber of Commerce and possibly the plan department as well. So we have a whole plan set up. Uh, we're starting to reach out to a bunch of groups to try to gain more information. Um, and yeah, we'll provide you a better update once we gain more information about the city and its residents. So Commissioner Le, sorry, thank you. Yes, so Commissioner Le, do you need help in uh, contacting the other groups? Do, uh, should, should you and I, and, or should we um, attend their meetings in the, and say something in the, during the public forum? Um, I think we're okay for now. We're still in the preliminary meetings. Um, have, we haven't really gone, you know, dive deep into the details yet of the project, um, but we will, we will ask you uh, if we need you on board. Okay. Um, I, and I guess another thing for us is we just want to make sure if we were, if we can get in contact with the housing department and what the procedures are with um, communicating with a city department and also the Chamber of Commerce. Um, so if you could help us out on that, that would be great too. Yeah, because remember, you're not alone here. You have an army of <laughs> army of commissioners helping you, okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we can divide up the work. Yeah. yeah. So Kevin, I, uh, I also heard a comment that a lot of people, a lot of kids who don't have Wi-Fi access at home, uh, they come to the city library and uh, and uh, work there, work you know from their parking lot or whatever. Do you have any comment on that, or do you have any knowledge of that, or have you seen that happen? Uh, I I don't have any knowledge of that. Um, the library is closed currently. Right? Library is closed. Yes. Yeah, yeah but so there's that, a that's really unfortunate to hear that they would have to go to the parking garage uh, for Wi-Fi. And last time I went to the parking garage was for a COVID test. So. <laughs> I know they yeah, do the drive through COVID test through I there. I went so. to the parking garage a few times. I, I didn't see anybody, but I just went in and out. Basically, I didn't spend much time there. And this was also during the off hours. So I don't know how true that is. Right. And actually, it's, it's not the parking garage. There's actually a gentleman who set up his home office in front of the library next to the, next to the front door. Oh. And I go over there oh, I and I see him, I talk to him and he, yep, he's got a table there, he's got his monitor, <laughs> he, he's got his computer, he's got his mouse, he's there all day. Okay. Oh, he's, a, he's a good Sam then, I, I think yeah. when I went there he wasn't there so. Yeah, and there, there, are, there are other uh, people who hang around the front of the yeah. library and, uh, they, okay. and they park their, their um, uh, supermarket cart there and, and, and <laughs> they use the Wi-Fi all day. Yeah. So there is a real need. There's a real need. Yeah. Yeah. So we're we want to get in touch with the library commission. They haven't responded to us yet. So we'll we'll do a follow up email maybe in a few days uh, to try and get their attention. And if they don't respond to us maybe in the week, then uh, I'll ask uh, Mike and Daniel to reach out to John uh, internally. And uh, you brought up a really good point, uh, Commissioner Chanduri. We um, I think we will also reach out to the OPS library to get their thoughts on this as well. Okay. Yeah, if you need any help, let me know. I can also contact them uh, on the side. And, um, and Kevin, um, just a comment um, and suggestion. I, I know um, sometimes, well, they they do meet regularly. Um, some commission do meet um, every other month, um, but you can definitely attend one of their uh, commission meeting. Um, the schedule is always published on the website, so you can attend and. Um, during public forum or you know during the item and be an attendee and, and present or ask your question there as well. Got it. But, Thank you. you know, emails will probably be faster, but the other option is also 
attend the public uh, comment and maybe reach out to the, the members that way or the chair and then maybe in contact with the specific commissions um, that way too. So you have a couple of other options. We'll do, we'll keep that but, in mind. Thanks Mike. And I, and I have a quick question. Um, if I want to have uh, Commissioner Chanduri to reach out to the library folks, would that be in violation of the Brown Act? Since mm -hmm. uh, I would have to, since as far as I know, my work should be between me and Commissioner Nair. Um, so if that was a task, the chair can um, assign it. And just as long as the information flow back into Daniel and he can send it out to the whole commission, but it wouldn't be for only three or four, four commissions only. So it has to be um, sent from staff to every commission, like the same information that um, be sent out. So they won't be sending it to you specifically, but they'll be sending it out to the whole commission. Then you can take that and put that into your report. Okay. Uh, if Commissioner Chandri is uh, willing to go through that, then uh, you can be our main point of contact with the library. I would appreciate that. Yeah, so, so Kevin, so let me know. I'll, uh, I'll be happy to do that. Okay. Uh, oh. We'll try to get in contact with the Library Commission first, and then okay. from there, we'll see. Thank you. I understand. Uh, I have Commission. a comment here. This is Nasir Lalani, oh. Commissioner. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. So what I was suggesting, do you, are you reaching out to the Barbara Lee Senior Center also? Because they are also a number of people who are using in their before or after COVID days to use the Wi-Fi through their, you know, game playing or whatever they do there. Sometimes the taxpayer mm -hmm. facility mm -hmm. has been mm -hmm. opened up there for the seniors. So it will be very useful to understand how they are managing currently. Well, do I, I did I did not think about that. I know they have some events there for COVID testing and uh, yeah. a warming center, right? Around yeah. that yeah. area. So Open today. I will make sure to reach out to them as well. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and I guess, Chair, um, before we move further, um, there's um, Ms. Chair, uh, Mr. Chung has his hand raised as an attendee for public comment. Just have a comment to add here, uh, Chair. Uh, Chair Ann Bao and Chair Ratan Chaudhry. Hello, can you? Yeah. So, well, I have spoken with the uh, with the library uh, library and education commission. There is a concept of a digital library that has been currently ongoing, and the point of contact for that is Kelly. Kelly has been working on the concept of the, uh, uh, establishing the Wi-Fi services and as well as the digital library concept uh, with the uh, with the uh, with the city of Milpitas, and she will be collaborating with the. Uh, the science innovation technology and as well as the respective uh, uh, respective person for, you know, for the Wi-Fi project as well. Just wanted to add that to uh, Commissioner uh, Kevin Lay's uh, comment. And I've already reached out to them and they will be uh, they will be coordinating and scheduling the meeting with the technology. Uh, so there's, there is a seminar that's going, to, that's going to be scheduled as well. So I'll be, uh, uh, I'll be reaching out to uh, uh, the Daniel Nam and my city staff about with respect to the same. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. And I think you said, um, um, Mr. Jung is, has a has a comment. Yes. Thank you, uh, commissioners. Um, I I just want to highlight a, a, a few things that uh, he was going through. Uh, number one. If you need a contact uh, for the uh, Chamber of Commerce, I am a board member for the Chamber of Commerce. So you're welcome to contact me to, to deal with that. Uh, number two, in relation to our school district uh, and our kids, it's not only the library. I've actually have seen and heard stories where some of our kids actually uh, have their parents park outside McDonald's and Taco Bell and various uh, retail restaurants so that they can get Wi-Fi. Um, and, and that is not necessarily to say that their Wi-Fi, they don't have Wi-Fi at home. It's the issue that their Wi-Fi at home, because so many people are at home, their throughput is so bad that they could not effectively 
a stream to learn their particular lessons and they're going to these uh, various establishments that have quote and unquote public Wi-Fi somewhat albeit somewhat limited. Um, that's what they're doing and the last point I'd like to raise for uh, Daniel is to uh, consider uh, while you're reaching out to those departments, I would also ask you to consider reaching out to some of our um, uh, uh, CBOs, uh, community-based organizations, the, the nonprofits that are actually helping, uh, for example, the unhoused or helping with our, our kids, uh, students, um, and make sure you uh, get their viewpoint of what their need is because uh, you know certainly uh, you'll get a, a good viewpoint from the actual departments but I would encourage you to also try to get some viewpoints from the actual users themselves. Thank you very much. So thank you Robert I guess if you can get some information or contact information to Kevin he can uh, try doing that and see what we can get out of that. Thanks for your comment, um, Mr. Jung. Yeah, I think our main goal right now is to try and figure out how many people uh, really need Wi-Fi and where are they located. So if you have any data pertaining to that, um, that would be great too. We will reach out to you. Yeah. Okay, thank you, I guess. Uh, so basically we are done with this item and we... Daniel, can we take the vote to receive and file? Um, I'm sorry, Chair. Chair, we have another um, public comment. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. Sorry, go ahead. Who, who, is, uh, who is the person <clears throat> who is going to talk? Roger Nair. Hi, thank you. Um, you should be able to hear me now. Uh, my name is Xenia Framers, and I was oh. invited to attend by Urvish Kumar Mehta. Um, I work at a company called Doc AI, and I, th I, I think this might be the right time to mention if it's not on the agenda. I know you guys have a, a tight schedule, but one of the solutions that we offer is a COVID health security app, uh, which we partner with public institutions to make sure that we can offer it to them for free. And what you guys are talking about with the library or other public institutions that you might have might be a great fit. Um, I'm not sure if this is the appropriate moment to mention that, but you know, I'm happy to send more information. It essentially is a mobile app that allows you to upload information like your testing or vaccine information um, in a very safe, private way. Privacy yeah, is what yeah if you can, uh, in the interest of, interest of time, yeah. If you can send that information to us, we will look into that. Thank sure. you. So just a little time check. We have seven minutes left. Uh, okay. Razini, you have something? Oh, my deepest oh. apologies. I, I thought it was at seven. So oh. <laughs> time check on my end. So let's, let's move along. I think we have to receive and file that. Okay, so I move to receive and file. Second. Daniel, you are breaking off. Yeah. So there was uh, Commissioner Bao and uh, Commissioner Haas. Oh. Am I audible? Am I audible, uh, Chair Ratan Chaudhary? Uh, sorry. What uh, uh, did you say? Yeah, well, uh, I wanted to comment about the, uh, the Genia's presence. Genia is from a passport doc uh, organization, and she's representing the, the COVID-19 health security app. Which oh, we, we got that one. I think if Genia sends us more information, we'll look into that. I, I did so. uh, note it down. Yeah. But uh, uh, I would like to move along on, in the interest of time. We have only six minutes left. We have a hard stop at 7 o'clock, I believe. Right, on. Yes. Okay. We, we have to uh, clear the, the streaming for another commission to be ready. I request, I request to add her to the, I request to have uh, Genia be participate in the next meeting agenda, please. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. So okay. Daniel, what do we have next on the agenda? Um, I will do a roll call for uh, receiving and file this item. Sure. On Val? Aye. 
Guy Haas. Aye. Nasir Lalani. Aye. Martan Chaudhry. Aye. Arvish Kumar Mehta. Aye. Rajan in there? Oh, sorry. Rajan in there? <laughs> Aye. Uh, Kevin Lake? Aye. Okay, we have six eyes, Mr. Chair. Okay. So received a motion and receive a motion to file. Let's go to the next item. 9D, Mr. for the IT project list. Um, so Chair um, and Commission, I just wanna, I know in the interest of time, I'm not gonna be able to go through this in four minutes, but uh, we'll be sending this list out. This of the current 2021 um, projects um, that staff um, is working on. Okay. And can, uh, we'll send this out, uh, Daniel will send it out to the commission. And if you have any details, um, information or request further information, we can definitely bring the item back a future agenda. Or if you need a presentation on any of the item, we can definitely uh, work to bring the item back and reach out to staff to bring the item back as well. So um, unless there's any specific questions, um, that's that's all I have for today. And then definitely we can bring any item back if you wanna get more details on them. Okay, Mike, uh, looks like a long list. So I guess, uh, thank you. If you send it, then we'll take a look at that and we'll bring you back in for a specific uh, presentation. Okay. As needed. Thank you. So Daniel, uh, do you have to take the roll call for that also or? Uh, 9D. Yeah, I don't think we need to, but uh, we'll take the roll call. Okay. okay. Um, on bow. Aye. Kai Haas. Aye. Basir <clears throat> Alani. Aye. Vartan Chaudhry. Aye. Ravish Kumar Mehta. Aye. And Kevin Lee. Aye. We have six eyes, Mr. Chair. Yeah, thank you. So the next topic is a discussion of future items. And do we have any future items to be discussed or added? Yeah, I think Commissioner Meta um, uh, proposed a, um, to bring the, uh, the presentation back at a future date. Yes, yeah, so uh, uh, Commissioner Mehta, if you can send us some uh, information before the meeting, that would be useful and we can add it uh, to the agenda uh, if we have enough advanced information uh, along with the presentations. Yes, Mr. Chair, we do need to post any of the presentations and anything that will be discussed in our meeting um, on our yeah. city's website. So if you could provide any presentation files, um, we can. Um, get the post <clears throat> and okay. um, as to meet Brown after we have to post it 72 hours um, before the meeting unless it's a special meeting which is 24 hours but um, any regular meetings uh, as part of the Brown Act staff has to post the, the meeting information and agenda uh, 72 hours ahead of time so Commissioner Mehta did you get that Yes, uh, well, uh, I've, I've, uh, I've requested uh, Microsoft uh, Business Specialist, Gerard Fryers, to provide the presentation. He has added the presentation slide and sent it to the chair and vice chair's attention. Uh, I request that to be added to the next meeting agenda, please. Okay, thank you. Um, Mr. Chair, so we do have um, another city department that will be presenting next, um, next meeting as well. Um, that information... Um, we'll send that over to you for your consideration to add to the agenda. Okay, Daniel, thank you. Okay, uh, anything else for future uh, items? We have uh, just a few minutes left, one minute left. Otherwise, let's move, uh, move on to the next one, next topic, I guess. Uh, next one is uh, item number 11, the Azum reports, uh, Mayor Tran report. Mayor Tran, thank you for attending this meeting. Do we have a, a few words for that? Mm -hmm. 
Mertran. So it looks like uh, Mertran must might have signed off. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah, I just want to really thank everybody for their support for the community. Uh, you know, being on the city commission is a, really a special thing. And if you look at our whole organization, all the way up to the city council and the mayor, uh, a lot of the folks on city council started off on commissions. And uh, I really encourage folks to um, go deeper into serving our city as you are here on this particular commission. Um, I look forward to all the items you have going forward. Uh, if I haven't spent significant time with you as a commissioner, um, you know, please feel free to email me, uh, and reach out to me. I'll, I'll be more than happy to uh, get acquainted with you and, and um, really uh, hold the door open for City Hall here. Um, but uh, I look forward to uh, being the liaison for this commission, um, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you, Mayor Tran. Uh, then I see city staff report for commissioner photos. Daniel. Yeah, yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, we have uh, city's uh, the commission website. Um, we would like to update all the commissioner photos. Um, okay. We have two options. If you can all turn on your cameras and look at the camera, I can take a snapshot of it from here or <laughs> You can send us a photo that you would like to post on the city's website. Well, I'll okay. send you my photo. Yeah, okay. I'll send you a photo. Okay, I'll send photo. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, Mr. Chair. Uh, I apologize. I forgot one item. It's a February okay. meeting uh, due to the holidays on the third Monday. So we will also uh, we will have to change the date one once again for February 22nd. That's the following Monday. Uh, the time stays the same at 7 p.m. Okay. So February 22nd, 2021 at 7 p.m. Thank you. Hey, um, Daniel, just um, so we don't, I know because of virtual meetings, we can't have um, dual meeting at the same time. Is there any possible conflict on the board? On that? Uh, there was no conflicts for that Monday. Okay. Um, I do have a quick calendar here for everyone. So this might be a little bit easier. I apologize, I had this up here. Okay, there we go. So for President's Day on the 15th, um, so uh, we are moving it to 7 p.m. There's no other meeting uh, scheduled for that. Okay, thank you. Sure. Yeah, thank you, Daniel. Uh, Commissioner, thank you. And now I'm Chair uh, Ratan Pradri and Vice Chair Guy House. I wanted to add, I wanted to add a comment to this uh, for a future meeting items. I would like to add the uh, 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 I would like to add a law, uh, a law liaison with the science innovation technology meetings as well, as it is important to evaluate that you know what are the what are the different science technology innovation law, you know that uh, they are applicable to uh, to the city of Milpitas and as well as the uh, to the advisory committee and all the commissioner to to have an inclusion of a different law so that you know everybody be aware and implement the right set of resources from a science technology innovation perspective and also from a law perspective. So one of the concept, one of the concept that I wanted to put it across is a space law as well. So if, uh, uh, you know, uh, I wanted to uh, have, you know, commission and adversary committee to consider uh, to include uh, all the law applicable, applicability of all the laws uh, to the science innovation technology commission with regards to in the next meeting agenda, mm -hmm. please. So, Commissioner uh, Mehta, yeah, send us uh, send us more some information on that one. Certainly, I would. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I think we are five minutes overdue, four minutes overdue. Uh, if nothing, then I would like to make the motion to adjourn this meeting. Second. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Mr. Chair. Uh, could we get the uh, motion a second to receive and file this item? So, may I make the motion to receive and file. Okay. Second. Okay, uh, Commissioner Haas. Um, your roll call, uh, please. And for the item number 11, liaison reports, An Bao? Aye. Guy Haas? Aye. Nasir Lalani? Aye. Ratan Chaudhry? Aye. Ravish Kumar Mehta? Aye. Did you call me? Yes. Oh, aye. Okay, we have six ayes, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you.
So item number moving along, item number 12, I would like to make the motion to adjourn this meeting. Second. To all. Second. So, uh, Chair uh, Tan Chaudhary and uh, Commissioner Guy Haas. Okay. 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 Anbao? Aye. Guy Haas? Aye. 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 Sure. Thank you, Daniel. Mike and uh, everyone, thank you so 